Mm -hmm. I want to trigger a workflow from Ricard producer. Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. Yes, it is possible. Yes, it is possible. So, in that case, can I create a workflow and then attach to a Ricard producer? Yes, we can. Right. Okay. So, see here, this particular question is a very typical question. Okay. Uh, why? So, workflow for a Ricard producer. Right. First of all, why we need to encounter them? Say why? Because if you want to use a workflow, you go for service catalog. Right. Service catalog have a standard structure and it's a ITL defined process. Right. So whatever it is, my service catalog or catalog item, whatever it is. Okay. First type. First type. Okay. You go with this and then it have already built in functionality for like request, requested item and task. Okay which is called okay workflow so this already this this is there when you already have it why you need to create a record producer and trigger a workflow from it using script this is the first question we need to ask okay technically triggering a workflow from script yes it is possible okay but why you have a custom table you are creating a record on it you have an incident you are you have an incident record producer it is generating an incident why you need to attach a workflow to incident you understood huh? that too when you are creating a workflow you need to, yeah. when you are creating a workflow you need to select the respective table is that workflow is being attached to the same table without a table selection can we able to create a workflow You are getting my points, ma? Everyone? Yeah. Yes, right. Makes sense, right? Everyone, you got this point, ma? Can you just repeat the last point? I, I was going so to So, can I create that. a workflow? Okay. Without selecting the table. No. No. Right. And second thing is. When you are calling a record producer, when you are calling a workflow using a record producer using script, is this workflow is created on the same table that you are going to create a record producer? Right, so now you have a workflow, it is created in a change table and you are creating an incident here. Then what is the point of triggering a workflow from a record that you are generating an incident? You are getting this point, ma? Shubham, you got this point? Everyone, please. Right? So, these are practical things. Okay, it's just a simple dummy dump question. Can we call a record producer? Can you call a workflow from a record producer? Why? First question is why? What is your need? Tell me. Then I will call it. <coughs> you are getting it, ma? Everyone? So, this is an interview question. That too, a dump question. Practically, if you want to trigger a workflow, you have a defined ITL defined process. There is a management is there like incident management, change management, problem management, request fulfillment management is there where it have its own SLS, where it have its own definitions of workflow, activities, everything. Okay. When you have this particular one, why you need to trigger a workflow from a record producer is our primary point that you need to encounter with the and also i guess uh, record uh, like we can't straight away connect the workflow to the record producer we have to uh, like uh, both should be having the same table no? like yeah yeah, yeah. We, we have to, we have to assign the workflow to the target table rather than the record right, producer right okay that is also a practical thing but first thing is why right that's where we need to encounter them then they have to tell okay this is my requirement then you can say yes or no Okay, you don't scare here or you don't confuse here. Because if we confuse now, then they will ask more questions in this. Right, Ma? Is that clear, Ma, everyone? First thing? Please acknowledge, Ma. Yes. Okay. Now, uh...